<laughs> Is that a crappie? That's a crappie! That's a crappie! That's a crappie! That's a crappie! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Swing! Grab him! Grab him! Grab him! Grab! Him. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is finally March and for Jay and I, that signals the end of winter and the beginning of spring. I know that there's still like 20 something more days left of official winter time, but it feels like spring out here. I mean, the weather is actually cooperating for once. It is about 60 degrees right now and the temperature is supposed to rise all the way up to about the mid 70s today, which is crazy. Cause I mean like a week ago, it was like 30 degrees, but just all of a sudden March magic is here and it's starting to warm up and the forecast looks great too for the next few days. And we're both very excited about that. So I'm looking out here at the lake. It looks prime for some bass fishing. I mean, this is optimal bass fishing conditions. We have overcast skies, a light breeze blowing. I think the wind's supposed to pick up a little bit as the day progresses but I have a feeling that there's some bass that have moved up in the shallow so Jay and I are about to do some old-fashioned canoe fishing we're gonna push our canoe out we're just gonna paddle around out here in the shallows we're gonna throw to structure and try to pick off some of these early season largemouth bass now I've been catching some bigger ones out in some of their winter areas but I'm thinking some of these fish are gonna start pushing up any moment now and that we can get on some numbers today so we're excited if you're excited give this video a like subscribe to the channel and in just a moment Jay and I are gonna push the canoe in I'll catch some big ones we'll see you guys out there all right I got the canoe in the water here comes Jay, she's running. Look at her, she's running, she's excited. Jay, you feeling lucky? I thought you were about to leave me. <laughs> no, I was just getting you ready, I was getting ready. You got all the rods. Got my rods, got your rods. Well, let's get out here and let's go get some big ones. Let's go. Where you wanna start at? You wanna start on that grass mat? We'll do that. Sounds good. We'll start right there. Oh my gosh! Is it oh my gosh, it feels like a good one. Big. Whoa! Oh, he's not that big. <laughs> wow! <laughs> he is strong though. <laughs> Come here, buddy. There we go. There's my first fish of the day. He just smoked that clout worm. Look at that. Ate that thing. <laughs> he loved it. And I said the hook's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> But it's, that's okay, I got him in the boat. Yeah, it's easy to make weird hook sets when you're sitting down in a canoe, yeah. <laughs> when you're trying to jack him in like the face. I was like, hit myself in the face. <laughs> hey, that's a good one. I thought you had a monster at first. You looked like you had a monster, but yeah, that's not a bad one. he was fighting really good. Definitely a good start. Two pounder, and uh, it's the first of many, Jay. First of many. I feel like we're about to catch a bunch of fish. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you later, buddy. Now we gotta catch a big one. I think it's a good one. Oh, he ain't that big. He ain't bad. <laughs> Come here, buddy. Felt like the one you caught. Yeah. Woo! There you go, another nice fish. Got him on the clout worm. It's on a little bit darker color. This is the dark water bug color. Just on a four eye EWG hook. About two pound fish. Look how green he is. Whoa! He's feisty. He's pretty cold. The water's pretty cold, but these fish seem to be fired up today. Awesome. Skin back in the water. No, did you feel it? What? There he is. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> is that a crappie? That's a crappie. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. That's a crappie. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Swing. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Are you grab the fish? Grab the fish. Swing him. Oh my gosh. What in the heck? Holy crap! Holy crappy! I've never done that. What the heck, Jay? <laughs> what? I had to stay. I had to stand up to set the hook on this one. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Stood up, set I the hook. The bite. I was like, mm, I'm gonna stand up. She said, "Cole, did you see that?" <laughs> I was like, "I don't know. Did you feel something?" She said, "Yeah. That's a slab, man." Whoa! Big old fat black crab. We got a scale. Let's yeah, weigh him. One pound, ten ounces. One ten, huh? Nice. Look at his belly though, it's so fat. I think it's a she. Oh, my bad. 
Holy cow, I was not expecting to catch a crappie today on bass gear. That's so insane. But anyways, we're gonna let this fish go. We're not gonna keep him. And we're gonna get back in the water and hopefully, which I wouldn't mind if we caught some more crappie, but hopefully we can catch some big bass. Yes. <laughs> All right, let's see our big girl go. Give me some, Jay. Slap queen. Good job. No, it's another little one. Woo. Hey, it's a large male. Okay, there is the smallest fish of the day. Hopefully they get a lot bigger than this. All right, I'm gonna send you back. See ya. Fish are still my worm. Let me show you guys a close of what we're throwing and how to rig it up. This is a six cents clout worm. This is their version of a, of a soft plastic stick bait. It's really awesome, it has these little ridges on it. It's a little bit more slender than your traditional soft stick bait. It's really soft, it's got a lot of salt in it and got a great colors. I've been throwing this dark water bug color this morning. Uh, we got dirty water, we got cloudy conditions. Fish seem to be chewing it pretty good. Really sweet worm. And uh, we're just throwing them on these four aught stout wide gap hooks. This is from six cents also. And it's rigging it weightless. We have a little bit of wind out here. Um, but the bait's heavy enough that it's able to fight it and get down. Let me show you guys how we rig this thing up. So you're gonna start by threading your bait onto the hook and you wanna thread it up there right to where the shank starts to bend. And then you'll come out, thread your worm all the way up to the top of the hook, cover that eye, rotate the worm back around. And then we're going to text pose the hook, figure out where the bait come, where the hook comes out and leaves the bait super straight. Come through. And then just simply text pose it to make it weedless. And there you have it, guys. That's how you rig all soft plastic stick baits if you want to throw them weightless and weedless. So we're gonna fire this thing back out there so we can catch a couple more fish. Fish! <laughs> no! <laughs> He's so little! Dang it. Well, it's been a while since we caught a fish though, so it's nice to finally have caught another one. Ooh. He smoked it though. These little bass can be so aggressive. Okay, see ya. I got one. Fish on. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come here, baby. He's a little baby. <laughs> That's what's moving up, guys. Little buck bass are all moving up into the shallows. The females aren't far behind. I think that the big ones are a little bit further back, post up an isolated cover. But it is fun to come out here and just get a bunch of numbers, though. Awesome. Okay, we'll see you later, man. We just took a small break from the action. We ran inside, grabbed a sandwich, and while we were in there, Jay told me that I needed to go check out one of our big fish spots to see if some big ones had pulled up on some stumps or not. The wind's kind of picked up, I'm not sure if you can tell or not. Um, and we couldn't get the canoe over there. So, we just decided I think the kayak out, scope it out for if there's a bunch of fish pulled up at our collar. But we're just looking for one big bite. I've been catching a few fish here and there, and every one of them has been like over three and a half pounds. And the biggest one caught, I think, is five and a half pounds so far this spring. So, there's a good chance that we can lock on to a big one. Fingers crossed, I got about, I don't know, like a 500 yard paddle ahead of me. So I will see you guys when I get over there. Shoot, doesn't look like we're gonna catch any big ones back here today. But that's all right. You know what I'm thinking is we've had a couple of warm days back to back to back. And some of these fish that are hanging out in the bottom of this channel most likely could be migrating over towards the flats. You know, we were fishing the flats this morning. You know, we caught a ton of smaller fish over there. And uh, there's a lot of isolated structure out there. And I'm thinking, you know, this is about the time here those fish start transitioning and getting on these isolated pieces of cover. Now, while I do think there's some fish out here still, and I think there's some big ones out here, I think that I just you know, it's kind of hard to fish them when the wind's blowing. I think I passed a few. I fish kind of fast. But I'm thinking that, you know, a lot of these fish are starting to move around. 
and that we're gonna start seeing some fish, you know, more up on these flats in the in the upcoming days. So I'm really excited about that. It's actually, you know, kind of uplifting. Just, you know, it's just been so cold all winter time. I'm just excited that it's finally warm. But anyways, I'm gonna head back towards the house. I've got, how is it? 5:20 right now. I've got about 40 minutes of daylight. I think what I'll do to wrap up today's fishing part of today's video is I'll just stand on the dock. I'll probably get Jay. We'll probably fish off the dock for a little bit and see if we can connect with a couple more fish. We caught a couple off our dock earlier off camera and they were actually a little bit bigger than the ones we caught in the canoe. So we'll see if we can connect with some more good ones. So I'll see you when we get back over by the dock. All right, we made it back out here on the dock. So I'm going to try to finish strong. Throw the clout worm out there. See if we can get a big one. Gotcha. Not a monster. That's what we're after. <laughs> Get up here. <laughs> Heck yeah. I missed that fish three times. Or I missed a fish three times. No little buck fish. Kind of like what we were catching earlier, but hey, that's a great way to end the day. I'm gonna make a few more casts before the sun gets all the way set and see if I catch a couple more, but sorry, but he's, he messed that worm up. Just knocked a bunch of slack in there. All right, we'll see you later, man. Oh, I had another one. Crap. I'm gonna grab another worm. <laughs> Unfortunately, that fish snagged my last dark water bug color clout worm. Which is sad because I was really digging that color today. That's all right, I'm gonna swap to this little green pumpkin blue flake color. It should do the job. I have about 15 minutes of daylight left and I think I can catch more fish. We'll see what happens. We've gone through a ton of these worms today. I mean a ton. And I know we're gonna continue to go through even more of these worms as spring continues to roll on through, temperatures continue to rise. You really can't beat a stick worm in the springtime, especially when you have sunny skies and slick calm water. I mean, you really can't pick a better bait. Like we said, this is the six inch clout worm. It's 5.4 inches long, and it is by far my favorite stick worm right now. It comes in a ton of great colors. It's super soft. It's got incredible action, and you really want a stick worm to have a ton of action. Now these baits aren't the most durable in the world. Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Gotcha. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that dude's a dink. We did it. <laughs> Look how small that fish is. Now, what I was saying, I was saying these worms aren't the most durable in the world. Let's set this guy back. That worm held up pretty good just then. I'm getting about two to three fish per worm. But that's just kind of the reality of stick worm fishing. If your bait isn't soft enough to have great action, it's not that good of a worm. Like you can buy like more, you can buy worms that are more durable, but they don't have as much action and in return you don't catch as many fish. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I prefer these worms to be a fish catching machine than to be super durable. And these baits aren't very expensive at all. I mean, you can buy a pack of clout worms for like four bucks on Six Inch Fishing website. It's way cheaper than buying like a Yamamoto Senko. Those run like seven, eight bucks, which is just ridiculous for a stick worm. It's for as many as you're gonna go through. So you get a great deal on these worms. My problem right now is that my stock on clout worms is very low and I know I'm gonna be throwing them a ton this spring. So as soon as I get back inside, I'm gonna get on the website and buy a bunch more colors. If you are needing some worms, if you need some stick worms, I'll leave these down in the video description for you. I'll leave some of my favorite colors down there as well. And you can use our discount code CJ10, save you 10% on your worms and uh, get you a whole bunch of them. There we go. All right, let's see if we can get that joker. I wanna get one more. What time is it? It's six o'clock. I love spring. Got him. It's a little guy, I think. <laughs> yes. You can get over here, I love it. I'll probably get tired of catching a little fish. You know, there's just gonna be a bunch of little fish running up in here, but there's just something about catching fish off your own dock. These are like some of the first, these are, like, these are some of the first fish I've caught off my dock this year. So it's really exciting, but I'm gonna end with this one. Let's send him back and uh, let's go see what Jay's up to. She's in there doing something, I don't know. Missing that on, missing that on all this good fishing.
And look at that. Worm's still good. We'll just put it right here and save it for tomorrow. Come back out here. We're back in the house now, and this is where we're ending today's episode. I want to say thank you all for tagging along with us on today's fishing mission out on the lake in the canoe. That was a lot of fun. We haven't, been, we haven't gone out in the canoe together in a while, so it was just, that was my, it kind of hurt my back a little bit. But <laughs> it that's felt right. good outside. It though. felt so good, and we caught some good <laughs> fish. We hope that it gets you excited for the spring fishing season. Like, this is only the beginning, and it's only going to get better from here. But we hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, be sure to like this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel so you miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're Colin J, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.